I'm looking extra foodie today. What's up guys, it's Ed from TechStories and welcome to Setup Wars episode 108 where you submit your desk setup to get featured on the channel. If you guys want to participate, make sure to watch the video link down below. But with that said, let the Setup Wars begin. So guys, before I begin the video, I have a pretty cool series idea I want to pitch to you and let me know what you think about it down below in the comment section. Either leave a like if you enjoy it or leave a dislike if you think the idea sucks. So basically, instead of my worst setup editions, I'm going to be labeling it the Roast My Setup. I don't know why I keep doing this. Uh, so basically, you guys get the option of roasting the setup that I feature on the show and I'll even jump in and throw, throw in a few roasts as well. I think it'll be a really fun and entertaining episode just every 10 episodes. So instead of the worst setup edition, it will be Roast My Setup instead. By the way, these setups are people that want to be part of the Roast My Setup. I'm not gonna purposely pull out setups and then just roast them out. I think that would be kind of rude and kind of mean, so. So basically, I'm gonna be posting the setup on Twitter and you guys can reply to that with your roasts. And I'll pick out like five or six of really good roasts and I'll feature them in the episode. And of course, I'll jump in and I'll throw in a few roasts as well because I am the roast master, of course. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about that series down below. I think it'll be pretty fun to change things up again. But anyways, with that said, let the show begin. Starting the show off, we got a pretty dope black and red setup from Alex. Just look at the color balance between the red and black. The contrast is on fire. He's rocking two 24-inch ASUS monitors that are hooked up against the wall. And below that, we got a custom-made desk with red vinyl accents on the sides and also chrome legs. On the desk, we got a pair of Edifier Luna Eclipse speakers, the Corsair Strafe keyboard with custom red PBT keycaps, and the Logitech G502 mouse. I gotta say that keyboard is looking fire. There isn't a microphone anywhere in the setup, so that tells me that these acoustic foams are there just for show, but there is a mic on his HyperX Cloud gaming headset under his desk. Cable management isn't the prettiest, that's for sure, but at least all the cables are off of the ground. I really like how you balance the color scheme so well. There isn't too much of a single color, like the PS4 with the D-brand skins and even your PC. Cable management isn't the best inside here, but it's rocking the 4770K and the ASUS Strix GTX 960. A very balanced gaming setup, thank you Alex for entering. Next up is Jose with something different. So we got a white and black gaming and entertainment setup featuring the 23 inch Acer monitor on the bottom and the 55 inch Samsung 3D HDTV up top. First thing that caught my attention was the level of symmetry. Aside from that annoying fire alarm that isn't directly centered, which I'm sure by the way you had no control over, everything else is spot on. Even the shelves on the right side are a nice touch. I see that you got a bit creative mounting them on the wall. So it looks like he went with the wireless route, picking up the Logitech K780 keyboard and the MK270 mouse. I also like that custom phone stand that you built next to your keyboard, very nice. For audio, he's got a pair of Samsung speakers and Bluetooth wireless headphones off to the side. It also looks like there are two more Samsung speakers behind his setup above the couch. Excellent work with the cable management, all the wires are hidden from sight. And finally, we got the PC off to the right side. It's got the 4690K and a Zotac GTX 970. It's a very clean and symmetrical setup indeed. Thank you, Jose, for entering. Speaking of white and black, here's another one from Martin, a 27-inch LG 4K monitor hooked up to the Sapphire RX 480, which is inside the Thermaltake wall-mounted PC. Right off the bat, I noticed all the cables. There's definitely a lot going on, and I feel like Martin could do a better job cleaning it up with some cable sleeves and a channel for the wire that's on the ground. On the desk, he's got the Logitech G120 keyboard and the G402 mouse, as well as a PS4. For audio, he's using the Monster Beats headphones and a Denon speaker under his monitor. I like how he's using one of the PC legs as a headphone hanger, that's actually pretty cool. I would definitely work on grouping up the cables under the desk a bit more, as well as tidying up the wires above the desk. I will give you some credit for tying the wires together on your PC, but tidying them using a cable sleeve would look a lot better. Thank you Martin for entering. Tyler's setup was so interesting that I decided to feature it on the show. Now he's using a Home Depot utility shelf as his desk. He was going for a budget standing desk setup with function. So on the top shelf, we got the 32 inch Samsung monitor, a Logitech TK820 keyboard, and the popular MX Master mouse. Near the top, he hooked up a BM800 microphone and also a set of speakers. 
What's interesting about this setup is not that it's built on a utility shelf, but that he has two PCs. Both of them are equipped with an FX8350 CPU and a Zotac GTX 970. My only guess is that each PC has its own separate purpose. Cable management isn't easy on a setup like this, but Tyler did an outstanding job organizing the back. This is straight up cable porn. Excellent work. A very unusual but interesting setup. Thank you Tyler for entering. Finishing up the show, we have a very cute husband and wife setup. So Winston's setup is on the left and it has a 32 inch BenQ monitor, Corsair K70 keyboard and the Razer Chroma mouse, while his wife is rocking a 24 inch Dell monitor, Falcon Z77 keyboard and an Asus mouse. Winston is rocking the Harman Kardon sound sticks while his wife is using the Kanto U2 speakers and for headphones Winston is using the Razer Kraken Chroma and then she has the Corsair Vengeance 2000s. I love that both of them decided to go with different gear. It sounds like they both know what they wanted instead of having one of them copy the other. The wife is rocking an i7-930 and a GTX 670 while Winston has the better PC, a 6700K and two GTX 1080s FTW and SLI. Winston, I'm ashamed, man. Why don't you just upgrade your wife's GPU? She's basically running a potato compared to your PC. Great teamwork on the cable management, unless she made you do all the hard work, but regardless, all the wires are off the ground, and this is a pretty awesome husband and wife setup. Thank you, Winston, for entering. So that is it for this episode of Setup Wars. As always, make sure you guys drop your comments down below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. Also, the people who vote on the Nice app will get tossed into a monthly giveaway of $25 Amazon gift card, where four winners are always chosen at the end of every month. But anyways, I'll announce the winners on my Twitter and Instagram accounts. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.